Yeah. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I was watching Gilmore Girls and you could see the boom mic. Oh yeah? Like big time. I love that show. Why? This fall on the WB Thursday, single mom, only child. Theirs is a unique relationship. Oh, gotta go! But the one that keeps Mom. things moving... Where's the bathroom? ...is 16 years old. It's 710! Stop it! It is not! It's a quarter to six, so it's 710! <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes! Because uh, I mean, I've been watching it, and it's like, I cannot... I'm not gonna... I guess I just... It's uh, not like it's bad, it's just... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Critics adore the new what? WB series, Gilmore Girls. Ah, oh, I'm smelling rage! A favorite of Entertainment Weekly. Your grandfather plays golf. He could teach you to play like a pro. Now you look just like Tiger Woods. Oh, I was gonna open this. Um, I got into it. There we go. Um, I don't know why I love it, I guess. Tonight, a Gilmore Girls Christmas event. She spent the night out with that boy. I didn't do anything, and you know it! Again, I'm not saying it's bad, but you get it after a while. Mm -hmm. Where a character will say something, mm -hmm. uh, Rolling Stones, let's just pick that, Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see this Rolling Stones concert. I don't know if I'm going to get married. So the Rolling Stones are playing, I don't know if I'm going to get married. The Rolling Stones, the Rolling Stones, the Rolling Stones, and it's like, will you stop talking about the Rolling Stones? <laughs> and that's like every episode. It is, yep. On the season finale of Gilmore Girls, on the WB's New Tuesday, it's the two-hour season premiere of Gilmore Girls. So yeah, I watched into the second season. Yeah. Like, Have you given up on it? I don't know. I'll probably get back into it at some point. Yeah. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Next Tuesday. So you were just you were just telling me about the first band that you were in. Yeah. And yeah. so I was going to ask like it was it like visiting with your first love? Yeah, kind of. The first person you did fall in love with? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Like it was you know, catching up like how are you? What are you doing now? You know, are you still writing music and everyone mm -hmm. was still writing music and um which is great, you know, cuz a lot of times when a band breaks up, like, that can be the end of music for that person. They just don't do music anymore, you know? But, like, everyone from Exit 331 is still making music. Sure. And I thought that was really cool. So That is really cool. Yeah, I was able to listen to everybody's music and huh. and show them our music. And oh, neat. What did they cool. think? They liked it a lot, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And, yeah, you just showed me a picture of that Madonna-rama. Mm -hmm. like, I don't have... Do you... I was about to ask, do you have any pictures of us, like dressed as, like Madonna, mm -mm. and because I know I I did, didn't I, did I dye the hair that I've got? I did, I did too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Bleached it blonde. And I know I wore something so I could tear off the shirt. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. uh, and I wore a skirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we committed ourselves. Yeah. Goodness. Sure but I did. I do have pictures. These were given to me and video too of us uh, as David Bowie. Oh really? Yes. Nice. I would love to see that. Why? Well, I guess I could show it to you. <laughs> That'd be great. Ricky played guitar, jamming good with Weird and Gillette. And the spiders from Mars, well, he played in left hand, but he made it too far. He became a special man. Oh, then we was biggest band. Like right after we're done talking, it's on mm -hmm. the computer. That I just there's a mic stand <laughs> <laughs> that often isn't there. Yeah. So like it's writing. Oh, well. <laughs> like what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Egos. Yeah. Okay. And so first band you were in, why did it split, or why why did it break up? Why why did that happen? Um. We had a decision to make. Either we were going to all try and make a go of it mm -hmm. and uh, buy a trailer and start touring, or we were all going to go to college. And we all had colleges picked out across the country. Mm -hmm. Jordan went to Pennsylvania. Uh, Dave went to St. Louis, maybe. Uh, Kyle went to Minneapolis. Derek eventually went to South Dakota. I went to Canada. You know, so... Oh. Uh, 
it was one or the other. We're gonna keep the band going and we're actually gonna make a go of it or we're gonna go to college. And when we set, decided, let's make a go of it. Let's mm -hmm. buy a trailer, start touring and just really see if we can do this. Uh, one of the guitar players uh, was like, oh no, I'm going to college. Like, I'm not gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said, okay. So I started playing guitar and singing because before that I was just the lead singer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so then I started playing guitar and singing mm -hmm. and we're like should we make a go of this and like the music got better it got super good like Whoa. it was we should have we, we shouldn't should shouldn't should um, <laughs> you can we could we could have uh, really made a go of it I don't know if it would have worked oh. but we could have um, with how how we were you know operating at the time but um yeah, we just all decided, no, let's do college. Okay. You know, this. how many bands make it that try? Not that many. So let's just oh. let's just do college. And we split. Hmm. Everybody went their separate ways. You know, we all left with a check. You know, we had money in the bank. It was, uh, it was a Christian pop punk band. And mm -hmm. youth groups and Bible camps all pay good money to have a band come in. Oh, so yes. we had a large amount of money in the bank. Well, a large for... 18 year olds um, and split it all up and went our separate ways hmm. and then you and I sat down at the frying pan and you showed me that ghost hand punch demo oh yeah and um, that was it I was like we gotta do this like this is gonna be amazing we have mm -hmm. to do it mm -hmm. do you know anybody else that can be in it and you're like yeah I know plenty of people I know I know people I, you know, <laughs> yeah. and it was yeah I that was very Yes, and let's, you know, it's like, yeah. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but to, to wrap it all up, oh, oh, sure. Ghost Hand Punch became a lifestyle. It did. The way Exit 331 was a lifestyle. It really so did. So I, I found that what I was looking for. Oh, that's good. And it was amazing. Experience this too, like, and by that, do allow me to say that it was like we would bond with the audience absolutely much more than connect with them. Absolutely, it's like we were there was this oneness mm -hmm. that was occurring, mm -hmm. and I've described that to some people, and I've talked about how musicians attempt to like chase that, you know, and then through I don't know like uh, substances. Mm -hmm. You know, and just other relationships, and they just, and not just to be famous, not for attention, mm -hmm. but it's that oneness where all yes. the voices are singing in unison, where it's mm -hmm. all of, you know, it's like where you just, I don't know, not transcend, not to make it sound like we're becoming ethereal beings or mm -hmm. something like that, but you just, you get to peek behind the curtain a little bit of how, like, life you thought life was you know it's like oh i thought it was just kind of like classes or school mm -hmm. and then yeah perhaps meeting the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with that it was just so much there's so much beyond that mm -hmm. you know that you can uh, really experience you know through music absolutely you know and i suppose through performance too and that was really occurring in that group you know it's like people mm -hmm. really knew the song like the places were packed yeah that we would play you know, after a while, like, yeah, because they didn't know us. And it was all original music, too. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was doing that. And so yep. it's kind of like, wow. You know? And so people would just come in to be like, what is this? You know, mm -hmm. very, very, uh, just amazing. It just was an amazing. experience for sure. With my ADHD, like, and my memory retention. Uh huh. I don't know if they're connected at all, if they're separate, but um, I'm so forgetful. I couldn't play, I could play one of the songs probably. Oh, okay. And for as long as we were in Ghost Hand Punch, I could probably play 
spectral dance. I was about to say it's probably that one because <laughs> yeah. it's got like it's two chords until <laughs> yeah. the later or latter part of the song. Yeah. And sometimes I play the one song that um, and, uh, D, but then you go up a fret, um, and then I play the. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we make each other. I think it's yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I can play, I can play that whenever. Yep. <laughs> What's really great is I can just do that now. I can just write songs like that now. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know there was, like, I guess, an audience still. So it's like when yep. you show me that poster, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, well, I guess I'm supposed to do that then. Yeah. <laughs> People still care. Yeah, they care enough to frame a poster yes! from one of our shows and put it up in their Airbnb. Wow, you know yeah. that's amazing. It's crazy. I, I don't know if anyone did with that with that or did that with the David Bowie. Yeah, show that That'd we put be awesome. on. Oh yeah, you're supposed to see some of that here. Yeah, please and thank you. Oh yeah, come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on down. You get the black stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this now. Okay. Unless are we supposed to talk about like being Devo and? Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, I could just put it, I could just look at the camera and be like, hey, I'm going to put some pictures of us dressed as Devo, and I'm going to play one of the tracks too, right now. Oh, and then here are some pictures of us as the cars too. So what's up next for the Ghost Hand Punch group? Well, we're working on a second album right now, and we've got most of the songs worked out, and then we just have to record them. Actually, just endure each other for a little bit longer. (laughs) (laughs) And then just sit down and actually, you know, put it on tape. 